What's going on, coaches? How are you doing today? Hey, let me ask something. Do you wish that your wide receivers got more yardage after they caught the ball? Of course. Well, if you give me five minutes, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how you can get more yards for your wide receiver and cover a simple drill you can do in practice in no less than five minutes to reinforce that habit for them. Now, who am I? Well, my name is Coach Ron Mackey, and I'm a football coach that helps other football coaches like yourself uh, score more points, win more games, and impact players' lives using the 80-20 principle. And I promise you, every video you watch of my beautiful, beautiful face, uh, you can take away one thing, add it to your program, and you will have an advantage over your opponent starting today. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about how we can get your wide receivers yak up, yards after catch, are real simple. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to talk to your players about it because what they what they think of is they think that I'm catching, I'm going to do all this juking and jiving and all that. And you've got to go, no, I want you to immediately, when you catch the ball, turn up field, get three or four more yards, get three or four more yards. We're not looking for the home run. A lot of wide receivers, especially in middle school and high school, they have this mentality of when I catch the ball, I'm going to get a touchdown. And they're always swinging for the fences, going for the home run ball. And you've got to tell them, no, we want the singles. We want the doubles. We want to get three yards, five yards, eight yards. Because eventually when the game goes on, those what you think little yards, those five-yard catches or six-yard catches, turn into 16, 36, 66, and touchdowns. So you've got to change that mentality, and that starts the very first day of practice. Um, the second thing is you need to correct it in seven-on-seven, seven, whether that's in the summer ball, spring, during practice, during the week. A lot of kids, when they catch the ball, they want to catch it and run right where everybody's at, right in the middle of the field, because that's where less players are, and then they can juke and jive. You need to set hard, fast rules. So like, hey, if you catch an out and you turn it and you run right back across the uh, field, that's going to be 50 up downs, because we don't want to enforce that. Because in this seven on seven and, and those tournaments and those practices and everything like that, they could score doing that. And that tells them, oh, I need to do that in the game. But they need to understand that when they're running back into the field, that's where everybody's at. You want to get away from them. All right. So that's the second thing. And then the third thing, you have to do the pat and go. If the pat and go is very – I'm sorry, the settle up and noose. The settle up and noose is really simple. It's a five-minute drill where you have cones and you're running – got wide receivers on one side, they're going across, and you're the quarterback. I plant, and I'm coming up, and I'm showing my hands, and I'm catching it in my hand. And immediately, wherever I catch it, if the quarterback throws it here – or if the quarterback throws it here, I am turning and getting up the field. You need to do that for five minutes a day because that reinforces the turn. After I catch, I turn and get up the field. I'm not catching it and then squaring back up the opposite direction. I want to turn in the direction of the ball. And the only way that you can do that, the only way they will learn, is if they do that over and over and over again. So those are the three ways. First, you got to change the mentality. Tell them that they need to get up field. We want five yards on top of every catch, and that goes getting up the field. The second one is you got to stop them from running across the field on seven on seven and thinking they're going for the touchdown or the home run every time they catch the ball. And the third, you got to do the settle up and news drill every single day. That reinforces it. All right. I hope this was beneficial. I hope you'll have a great day. And until next time, let's continue to score more points, win more games, and impact more lives. I will see y'all later.